What's up everyone? My name is Marie. Welcome to my channel and welcome to another speed build. So for today's video, I am sharing a build that I actually did a little while ago, but I just never got around to posting it because there were other builds that I wanted to post before this one, I guess. Um, but today I'm finally sharing this one. And for this build, I actually rebuild the high school auditorium in Copperdale. So if you're familiar with this pack and with this world, you'll know that um, obviously we have the actual high school lot in Copperdale, but then there is a separate lot for the high school auditorium. It's a community lot that has different purposes basically. So this lot is used for the prom, but also for high school graduation and also for career day and then it also has like a default auditorium setting i guess which means that it's not really used for anything at that specific moment um so yes that is the lot that i rebuilt today and i actually did do all the versions of it which is actually quite easy for this one because you want to keep the exterior exactly the same for all the versions or like you don't have to do that but it's the most realistic um so depending on the uh, on the event, I guess you can like change up the decorations and that is what I did. So I did do the um, the default auditorium. I did the prom venue. I did the graduation venue and then also the uh, career day venue. So they're all a little bit different decoration wise, but for the rest, like exterior wise, they're exactly the same, like layout wise and things. It's literally just the decorations and the little things that you need for those specific um, venue types, if that makes any sense. So that is what I did for this one. And um, yeah, here you can see the exterior come together. So I did play around with the round walls for this one. And um, it's a little bit, I don't know, what would you describe this? But it's like very modern. Um, it has some like round walls and things. It's, it's, it's a really strange little building, but I really like how it came out. Actually, the floor plan was giving me some difficulties. Um, because I am using rounded walls and it's those are very, very difficult to work with. So that definitely took me a little while to like get it right and figure it out for the floor plan. I did figure it out in the end, though. It's not the biggest lot, but it is. I mean, it's quite spacious. It has an entire like second floor that you can use for things. Um, and in the end, I, I actually like how it came out. Like I was struggling with it when I was building it and I wasn't really liking it. I was also definitely struggling around with the, with the wallpaper and stuff. Like I just wasn't sure how to make this building look nice, but I think in the end I figured it out and I really like how it turned out, especially like interior wise. I really, really enjoy the prom venue. I think I did a good job with that one. And it looks really, really cute. Um, and I think it'd be a fun one for gameplay as well. So yeah, I can't wait to show you that. But for now, you can see that I am just working on the exterior. I also built this, uh, did this build like way before the lighting in this world got patched. Um, as you can see, the shadows are very, very harsh. The lighting is a little bit harsh in that sense, which makes it a little bit like harder to look at because you can't really see what's going on like in the shadow, if that makes sense, because the shadows are like so harsh. Um, but thankfully they did fix that. And uh, yeah, they just fixed the lighting um, in the previous patch for the game, which was already a couple weeks ago. So you can really tell that this build, um, I definitely did this build like a few weeks back. However, I still really like it and I still really thought I would share this one with you. So like I said, I did all the versions of this, um, of this build. So you can actually go ahead and download them separately. It works the same way for um, the lots in Eco Lifestyle. If you have that pack or if, if you're familiar with that at all, you'll know that we have like a venue type or like a law type in that world that you can use as three different things. So basically there's one law type that can be used as either a marketplace, a maker space or a community garden. And then the same goes for this one, except for this one, it's a little bit easier because you literally want to keep the building the same for all the venue types for this one. Whereas with um, Eco Lifestyle, that is a little bit more difficult because you probably want all the lots to be like very, like very different from each other. Um, 
that's the fun in that, I guess. But for this one, you really just want to keep the whole exterior the same. I mean, like I said, you don't have to, but it does make the most sense because it's just this one building that has multiple purposes, <laughs> if that makes any sense. So um, yeah, that is what we're working on today. And you can really see it come together shape-wise. The shape of it is very basic and nothing too complicated. However, it's nice. Like I really, really wanted this to be functional for gameplay um, because I mean, that's what you're gonna use it for. So aesthetic wise, it's not, maybe not the prettiest. However, I do really like what I did with the uh, landscaping because for the longest time, I wasn't sure. Like what was I gonna do for the landscaping for this build? Like what is pretty? Like what makes sense here? And I figured it out. I even created a little pond on the side of the lot. And I really like that. It fills up the space nicely. It makes it look a little bit more dreamy and cutesy, I guess. So that is what I did. You can't really access the pond, I don't think. I mean, you can, but there is not really a lot to do there. It's also a very small little area. However, I still really, really like it. And I think it adds a little bit of something to this lot to make it a little bit less boring, I guess, because the building itself is... I don't know. It's a little bit boring. It's quite boring, but I do like how it came out. And I also like that I did use the rounded walls because that also just adds a little bit of something to the build, you know, makes it look a little bit more interesting, I guess, even though the round walls are so glitchy. Um, like it was my dream to have a little stage up in that rounded section of the build. However, that was not going to work because rounded walls in combination with like rounded platforms, it just doesn't work like it doesn't work at all so i had to uh, steer away from that idea which i kind of already knew from the get-go but i still tried it i did cut it out of the video because it was way too frustrating for me to leave it in so i didn't leave it in um so no stage in the rounded portion of the build but there is obviously a stage that i made out of a platform and as you can see the build on the inside is really not the biggest it's really not that large however i did manage to fit everything in so yeah i don't know that is quite nice and here you can see that i was definitely feeling around like what was i gonna do with the whole um like entryway and with the platforms and the staircase oh my god the staircase was giving me so much trouble i did not know how to make it look right so in the end what i did was you can see the little staircase with the uh platform where the door is basically um, and then I placed the staircase right across from that on the opposite wall. So we have this one hallway space that leads from one side of the building to the other side of the building. And then it has like archways on either side is what I did, if that makes any sense. Obviously, I will show you the build in real time after the speed build portion of the video like we always do here on the channel. So I will do that to give you a little bit of a better like overview and like look and feel of the whole thing. But then again, it's really not that complicated. It's just a little bit awkward. However, I did manage to fit everything in. The bathrooms were a little difficult because the stalls are very awkward um, in combination with those windows, the way I placed them. The stalls kind of block the, uh, the windows a little bit, which I mean, it's not that big of a deal looking back it's it really doesn't matter but at the time i remember being so frustrated by it because it just looked weird and i didn't really want the stalls to block the windows it just i didn't like the idea of that however i managed to put it to like place them there anyway because i don't know i just really wanted to use the bathroom stalls it made the most sense so that is what i ended up doing um but here you can see here we have the little stage portion or like the stage area of the build and I just uh, placed some base game curtains. By the way, this build is actually only base game and high school years. I totally forgot to mention that. But yeah, it's definitely a limited pack build. So if you have high school years, regardless of like which like regardless of the other packs you may or may not have, you can use this one because this one is literally only base game in high school years, which uh, I thought was nice for uh, for this build. Um, so that is what I did. And here, yeah, you can kind of just see it come together. We do have a quite spacious second floor. That was a lot more space than I knew what to do with, basically. Um, Cause what are you gonna use a second floor for in a build like this? Like, what are you gonna use it for? So in the main auditorium version of the build, I think I just placed a couple of random cheer mats cause the auditorium is a nice area to actually go ahead and practice some cheer. Like where else are you gonna do that? So, I mean, you can obviously just put a cheer mat in your backyard at home, or if you have my 
um, high school version, like my version of the high school, the Copperdale High School. I also put some cheer mats in the uh, the theater that I actually built for that uh, for that high school. Um, so you can obviously go ahead and practice cheer there, but I thought, you know what, what, what else am I going to do with this second floor? So if you have any other ideas or I don't know, it's, it's easily customizable. So if you need the second floor, like if you need the space for something completely different, it's basically yours. Like it's all yours for you to furnish. Please go ahead and place the items that you need for your gameplay. It's, it's very like nice and customizable in that sense. I think I really enjoy that about this build. But here you can see I was getting started on the landscaping and I just wasn't sure what to do with it. Like, how was I gonna landscape around this rounded wall? I just did not know. I wanted it to look very put together and manicured and that's when I came up with the idea of adding a little pond, if that's what you can call it, um, along the rounded wall. And I think it just looks very cute. It does definitely look very manicured. I placed some trees on either side. It's very symmetrical. But that is exactly what I was going for with this build and like this style. I'm totally spacing out on the name of this like specific style that came with like the rounded walls. Um, oh gosh, Art Deco, that's what it is. Oh, I was thinking about this for like the entirety of the voice over this far. Like I am, I just didn't know what to call it, but Art Deco, that's what it is. Um, so that is definitely what I was trying to achieve with this build as well. And yeah, so I, I, I really felt like I needed to at least try and add in some rounded walls. And I ended up really liking it. We also have like a little balcony on top of the rounded walls, as you can see, which I thought was really cute. I just placed a couple of chess tables there so you can have the chess club gather, even though the clubs are basically rabbit holes. I believe, um, so you don't really need a space for your chess club to gather, but I just still thought it'd be cute. So I placed some chess tables on the balcony so you can work on your um, logic scale in this, uh, on, this, on this lot as well if you wanted to do that. And then I also placed a bunch of debug fences, like the little stone fences around the place, which I just thought were so cute and just really made the whole build fit in with the rest of this area just seamlessly. I really, really enjoyed that. And um, yeah, I don't know. I just really, really enjoy the whole like neighboring little area of this lot. I just think it's so cozy. I love Copperdale. It's I think one of my favorite worlds that we have in the game now. Brimbleton Bay will probably be my all time favorite forever, but I really, really like this one as well. Um, it's really cute, especially now that they fixed the lighting. I just think Copperdale is so pretty and it definitely, I mean, it makes sense because I love Brimbleton Bay. So it kind of makes sense that I like this one as well, like this world, because they're not like similar in any way, but maybe in some way they are. I don't know. They're both very woodsy and gloomy kind of, which I just, I don't know. I really like that vibe. I think it's really cute. And I think in this world, um, this world goes very nicely with the stuff that came with seasons, like the exterior windows and things. I feel like they combine nicely and then naturally um, with the cats and dogs stuff as well, because I always feel like seasons and cats and dogs combine very, very nicely. And this world kind of ties in with that whole feel. So I don't know. I just I really love Copperdale. I think it's very cute. So here you can see we're moving on to the interior of the build. And I felt like, you know what, what am I, what else am I going to do for the default auditorium? Let me just put together a tiny little theater or like stage area um, so that that is all set up for either graduation or whatever else you might need it for, whatever like ceremony or what have you. So I figured, you know what, let's just place the chairs and stuff and like put a little podium on um, on the stage. Basically, that's also a necessity, like it's something that you actually need to place for the standard auditorium. Um, so that's what I did here. You can see I placed a couple of random chair mats upstairs as well as a random couch. I don't know why, I just thought it looked nice. So I placed it there, I put it there. It's, it's a nice little hangout area for the cheer squat maybe. And then here we have the little chess tables that I was talking about as well. And then upstairs we actually have the bigger bathrooms. Um, so here you can see that I just placed four stalls total upstairs and there I just stopped building for a second. I think I meant to cut that out of the video. I just kind of forgot. So um, I just stopped building there for just a second, but it's fine. We're continuing on. And then after I did the standard version of the auditorium, you can see that I immediately got started with the prom venue. So I placed a little balloon arch 
um, by the front door and I was fiddling around with like where to place the photo booth and what to do with the tables and chairs and like the the food tables, like the serving tables. I really have no clue what else to call them right now. And I also basically got rid of all of the lights that I had placed um, and I replaced them with either cozy little wall lights or these like disco lights. I don't really know what else to call them other than like disco lights <laughs> that came with base game. So I just placed a couple of those there. And obviously since I'm not using get together, um, I didn't have any actual dance floors to put. So I still kind of try to mimic the look of a dance floor by using a different wooden floor here, as you can see. And then I placed a couple of love seats around as well as the little voting board where you can vote for prom um, royalty. So that is what I placed there as well. And it should work because I did actually play test this build. So yeah, everything worked perfectly for me. Um, so it should for you as well, I guess. And then I also placed obviously a little music player by the dance floor or like quote unquote dance floor. It's not an actual dance floor, but I think your Sims will still gather here to like dance and stuff. And then um, I also decorated the stage a little bit. I just centered the little podium so that the ceremony for prom royalty or like the prom court, what's the proper term for that? I never really know. I'm not American, so <laughs> I'm really not familiar with these things. Um, but it's just a nice like little stage area for the announcement of the prom royalty. And then basically I just went crazy with decorations. So I placed all the little high school years prom wall decorations all over the place. I also at first put up this little graduation sign here by the food tables, the serving fountains, tables, thingies, whatever you want to call them. Um, but I quickly realized that that was not a prom um, picture wall or like picture background thingy. It was a graduation picture background thingy. So I think I got rid of it in the end and I just placed some tables and chairs and I kind of just fiddled around with how I wanted to lay everything out um, because this is a little bit cramped in here. So, but it makes sense. I think I actually deleted it and then, and then placed another like third um, table, like serving table. I'm, I'm not exactly sure. Maybe I only placed two. I don't know, but you can basically see it come together here. So we have a couple of four seater tables, a couple of three seater tables, and I just decorated it with some plants and things. And like I said, I went crazy with like wall decorations. We also have a um, photo booth in here, as you can see, which I thought was so cute. It's one of my favorite activities from this pack is the photo booth. It just takes me back to, was it the Sims 2 where we have those? The Sims 2, I think. Um, and I really, really, really like that item in the past. So I just, I really enjoy it now as well. I think it's so cute. Um, so yeah, here you can see it come together. I love the fun, like I love the fun colors for all the lights and stuff everywhere. It's just so fun. Um, so I went crazy with that. The whole overall like feel of this venue, like this version of the venue is very dark um, because I did remove all the regular lights, but I did like really try my best to place back as many like wall lights and little colored lights and stuff as possible to still make it look light inside so that you can actually see what you're doing when you're playing here. Um, but I still wanted it to look like a prom, like a party venue with fun colored lights and no like regular lighting. So that is what I tried to achieve and I think I succeeded. And then here for the prom venue, I just decorated the second floor a little bit more. I added a couple of seating areas because maybe you want to just like hang out with your friends away from the dance floor and just like chill for a little bit. Then you can come up here and like hang out um, at the couches. I think I place another CD player up here so you can still like listen to some music and dance a little bit if that's what you want to do. Um, and then I also placed a grand piano. That is what I did. I don't know why, but I needed something to fill up the space and I felt like the grand piano looked nice up there. So I just, I just put it there. Um, I don't know why. You might want to put it back for all the other lot types as well because I think I only put it here for the prom venue and that makes no sense because how are you going to get that thing downstairs? Like, how are you going to remove that? So maybe it's more realistic to place it there for all the versions of this lot, but I didn't because I just totally spaced out on that. But you can obviously always do that. And then here for the back of the lot, I decorated it with these little canopies. I haven't actually gotten a chance to use these yet. So I was so excited to actually place them here for the prom venue. I thought that was so cute and so dreamy. And we basically just have two little 
romantic little date tables back there for a little bit more privacy. I don't know, I just thought it was a cute idea. So that is what I did. And then after the prom venue, we actually moved on to the graduation venue. So you can see that I put back the regular auditorium and worked off of that version of the lot for, um, for the graduation venue. Um, which makes sense. I did that for the prom thingy as well, obviously. And then I also did that for the, um, what's it called? Career day venue. But this one is very close to, very similar to the actual regular version of the auditorium. Um, cause I kept all the chairs there. I just decorated the stage a little bit more to make that look cute. And then back here, I placed back those photo like screens or walls or whatever you want to call them. Um, I was definitely thinking that that could be a cute picture area. And if I were building with packs for this one, I would definitely set up like two tripods with cameras because I can totally see like the students taking photos with their friends and their family in their like cap and gown and stuff. I could just totally see that, but I wasn't working with any packs, so I couldn't set up any tripods. But if you want to do that, then I think that that would be so cute. It's definitely something fun to add to this. And there is definitely some space for that. So yeah, I also placed a couple of tables and chairs so you can sit there with your family and just chat for a little bit. Um, there are some vending machines for whenever your Sims got hungry. I don't know. I just thought they looked nice there. Um, and then for the rest, the graduation venue is just nothing special. It is really cute though. And it looks quite, yeah, just realistic, I think. And then here we have the career day version of the build, which once again, I worked off of the regular auditorium build for this one. I deleted most of the chairs down here and replaced them for the career day tables. I think you only need three for it to function, but I placed four of them. If I am remembering that correctly, I think you only need three. I'm not exactly sure, um, but I just placed four because it filled up the space nicely. And then I placed a couple of boards outside um, for the career day, and then that is basically it. So let's jump right into the game and I'll show you the build in real time. So here we have the auditorium in the game. I will say it looks a lot better with the fixed lighting. I actually haven't seen it in this version of the world, like with this lighting before. And I think it's a lot better. The shadows are a lot less harsh and it just looks nicer. So I'm really happy that they fixed that. But um, yeah, this is the facade of the lot. On the side, we have this pond thingy and the balcony with the chess tables, as you can see. And then in the back, it's just quite empty, but we do have an outdoor trash can and a little bench, which is cute. Then for the default version of the lot, here you can see this is just your basic stage setup with all these chairs, a little podium, a microphone. I thought that could be useful maybe. Yeah, just all these chairs basically. And then back here, a couple of round tables and chairs, a couple of bookcases and some vending machines for some reason. And then up here we have these chair mats, a couch, and bathrooms on either side. And then for the formal dance, I thought why not make it nighttime for this one. Um, so we have this balloon archway to kind of show you that the prom is happening. My favorite area might be the back. I don't know why, but I just love these canopies. I love these little tables and chairs. It just looks quite cute and it's just a nice little extra touch. And then inside, as you can see, we have all these fun colors going on lighting wise. So over here on this side, we have the quote unquote dance floor. I placed some love seats around here, a CD player, obviously, or like music player. And then we have the voting board over here on this side and a couple more benches to just sit down and hang out. And then obviously over here, we have the stage for like the prom royalty like ceremony. And then back here is the area where you can eat basically and also take pictures in the photo booth over here. So that is really cute. And then upstairs, we just have a nice hangout area with these couches, chairs, stuff like that. Um, yeah, just nice little hangout areas. Basically, we also have a grand piano, but also a stereo for some regular music. So you can just dance up here as well. And then, oh, that's right. I placed another photo booth up here. I totally forgot, but there is another one up here. So that's nice. And this one is a little bit more private, like in the corner upstairs and I mean, you can also woohoo in the photo booth, I believe. So yeah, that might be an option for you. And then of course, just the bathrooms. So yeah, I really like this version of the venue. I think this is my favorite. Then for the graduation, this one is very, very similar to the default auditorium version. So we basically have all these chairs set up as like a little theater. I just placed this board back here or like this screen because I 
thought that that was cute. And then up here, I put another one of those. I definitely used way too many of these, quite repetitive, but it just makes sense for this venue. And then back here is basically just a nice little area to take some photos. Like I said, the perfect space to set up a couple of tripods if you have Moschino, so you can take some family photos or like some fun photos with friends. And then we also have just some random tables back here. But that is basically it for the graduation version. I also have a different version of this balloon archway, just in a different colorway. And then we of course also have the career day version. So for this version, I just put up these little boards or these little signs outside. And then inside, we just have the chairs out of the way basically. And I place these career day tables. So yeah, it's, it's very basic, but it makes sense. And then back here, it's the exact same as for the default version of the auditorium with the chairs and the bookcases and the vending machines. So yeah, that is basically all the same. But yeah, that is all the versions of the high school auditorium. So this auditorium reno is up on the gallery and it uses only base game and high school years. So as you can see, when you go to my library, we have the auditorium reno, which is the default version of the lot. And then the other ones each have their own download. So when you go to my library, you'll see these four versions of the lot, basically. So this is the auditorium Reno, then we have the career day version of the build, we have the graduation version of this lot, and then we also have the prom venue for this lot. So it might be a little bit confusing, but you can just place them all separately in your game and you should be fine. But that's gonna do it for this video. So I really hope that you enjoyed this build. You can obviously go ahead and download it off the gallery like I just showed you. My username on the gallery is Simmery Sims. You can also follow me on Twitter and on Instagram if you'd like. My username on there is Simmery Sims as well. If you're not subscribed to my channel already, feel free to do so. And if you want to be notified of every single time I upload a video, just click that little bell icon and you should be fine. I also live stream on Twitch a few times a week. So if you're interested in that, go ahead and give me a follow over on twitch.tv for slash Simmery Sims. So I just want to say thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.